Yeah, sweet potato. Nice. Lots of chippies too. Sweet potato. Mmm. Thanks, us. And Meta. Delicious. JB, how's your food? It's good. It's good? Double shorted. Yeah. If it was bad, would you dare telling us it's bad? I'd take my chances. Yeah? I would. So it's, it's twice bigger than you. It's twice as big as me, so I have to be careful. I'll shout to him from the other end of the boat. And then I'll run. People often ask the difference between racing and cruising. The main difference is that when you race, you break your sails, you fix your sails, you break them again. But then cruising, you just go slower. And then you work to fix yourself, except from Steve, who's doing nothing. But some people work to repair the sails. And first, they need to repair the sewing machine. And that's a three or four meter sail loft for a 300 meter kite. But that's really not any worry for Steve. Rather interesting 24 hours 36 I can't even remember it's today six day at sea and whew, it feels like much more we've been really pushing hard to get to these scoring gates uh, down about a thousand miles uh, already we're arriving uh, near to Cape Verde and yeah just like Oysting kite, dropping kite, oysting kite, dropping kite. Uh, we had a bit of a kite mare two days ago. Um, managed to take it down, fix it, put it back up. Uh, since this morning, we had like a bit of uh, some squalls, so I took the kite down uh, to fix it. The, the guys are cu currently fixing it. Uh, put another kite up, and yeah, keep pushing, keep pushing. It's, it's it's tough, it's tough. Uh, competition is there. We always within a few miles, a few dozen miles maximum from the fleet. Uh, we've been in the front of the fleet uh, from the beginning, so that's also more pressure to keep pushing. We've done this bit in six days. Tomorrow we'll be here, and then it's two, three days, probably three days to the Doldrum Corridor. That's the Dolan Corridor, and that's another two weeks here, down to Punta. Not there yet, not there yet, but going, going there, going there. And I showed them how to shower using uh, a garden spray, like I was doing on my boat. Hey guys, how many people showered today? That's about 10 people with 5 liters of water. This is the solution, overall. And they see some left. Who hasn't showered? <laughs> huh? Topped it up once? Oh shit. Ten, li Ten liters of water. Ten liters of water. That's pretty good. Your One liter per person. Much. And they were la they were lavering it on. <laughs> my my favorite day saving today. Yeah. Twenty knots. Okay, yeah. Just a little wave, just getting faster and faster. Nice one. Right, seven days at sea, and we are 15 miles, 13 miles from the scoring gate, from this like virtual mark in the middle of the sea. Chindao is like right by us to get two points or one point. Whoever passes the line first gets to a one point. Chindao, that's the line, that's us. So we're a little bit further away, but we have a better angle. They have to go deeper down. We hard. Nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Yeah! Mark, what's up? <laughs> Good one. One more point. Good job, everyone. 
Nice one. How do you feel about this extra point? Oh, wow. Well, that's done. <laughs> you worked very hard for that. Yeah. Only seven days of racing, guys. It's the 23rd of September and we're passing the Cape Verdes Island and it's so, so warm. Horrible. And it's gonna get worse. Um, I'm sweating all I can, even if I'm on deck. Uh, it's warm and humid. Uh, it's like I'm in a sauna all the time. We have fans running everywhere, but it's just on and off. But anyway, we're doing good progress. We are third position at the moment. We're in the game. Um, so the forecast is... So we're right here in the middle of Cape Verdes Island. That's us here. Sanya and Chindao are here. That's the weather, so this is now wind to 15 to 20 knots of wind and as the day passes we gotta go south and south of us there is this low pressure, so about 25-30 knots uh, but it's going to pass probably we're just gonna get the tail of this and anyway this will be a good speed and then we enter the doldrums corridor so this here is the doldrums corridor, it's basically a gate on the latitude uh, 13 and it goes all the way to the latitude um, uh, 3. So inside this corridor, inside this corridor there we are allowed to uh, motor for 6 degrees of latitude and 60 hours. So this is in order so we don't get stuck there for too long. Uh, we have to uh, to arrive in Punta not too late and uh, we cannot afford to have boats stuck there for a week. We have to let the race committee know when we're starting the... Hey, join the party, Wengi. Uh, we have to let the office know when we turn the engine on. We need to um, be within six degrees of latitude within 60 hours if we overpass one of the latitude or the time we need to wait at this point and then carry on uh, sailing. So yeah, that's what we're going for. It's sweaty as fuck. What do you think? Very sweaty. <laughs> Very sweaty. Despite all the fans we put everywhere, it's sweaty. Anyway. Right, so we got this low pressure incoming. Yeah. Yeah. It's still actually the same wind, but the, the clouds look really, really dark and really, really not happy. So we went from code two to Yankee three and stay sail, and really soon we'll be taking reefs. But yeah, no. All right, let's get this kite. Ah, good job. The kite is almost done. Cool. Yeah. Oh, good job, guys. So we're packing the kite and it's what? The other, how much do you think it is? 35 degrees? At least. At least? Maybe 40 degrees in here. Before the shit hit the fan, we're charging batteries. We're going to make some water, prepare the food, throw everything away.
it's Ocean Racing, but if you, if you thought Ocean Racing was somehow glamorous, uh, you were wrong, uh, terribly wrong. I'm in, uh, in my bashing towel because I'm so wet, it's, I feel it's the most appropriate thing to wear. Morning. Sailing with it when it's a bit shitty like this is, is okay, it's a bit wet. But cooking when it's shitty like this, it's <laughs> fucking hard. <laughs> Great job guys, thanks a lot. Oh, look at this. Don't think it has a name, but it's delicious. And now, and now it's flat calm, beginning of the doldrums. We just did our declaration, so in uh, two hours we'll be starting our engine, starting motoring through the calms. Yeah, the next two days and a half we're going to be motoring. Hopefully it will be calm so we can get some jobs done on board. And now it's a big idea, finally we've been able to open the lift hatches of the boat to at least breeze a little bit the boat, it's, it's warm already, but better than the last 36 hours where we've been locked down completely in here. So everything was dripping water everywhere. So now it's a yeah, big thing, tidy up. Day. So basically we are around the boat uh, doing some admin and stuff but the crew is, the, is in charge of the boat so I had a full night of sleep almost, I got woken up once and twice uh, so I slept way too much last night, I'm feeling dizzy. Now it's a uh, changeover from deck and I check this. Morning! Ooh, pancakes! Beautiful! Broken button. I'm gonna try fixing this as we're motoring. It's much easier than when we're sailing. That's the project of the day. One of the projects. Uh, do you want to try to pull it a little bit? Right, so we're still in the doldrum corridor and CV30, the red boat over there, uh, they're having a generator problem, so they're charging their batteries with the main engine. Yes, you, uh, zero, go ahead. Hi. Right, so they, yeah, they need fuel, so we're gonna drop them five jerry cans of fuel. Uh, we can do this because it's the doldrum corridor. It doesn't really matter if we slow down or divert course for them. Oh, we're so not ready. Uh, all right, whoever doesn't have a job, please come get the jerry cans and put them on port side, please. Uh, copy that. All right, they're gonna drop the tow line. How you doing, guys? How you doing? Hey, 
All right, 3-0, was really nice to see you. Don't use that fuel too quick. We don't have much left for you. Um, race safe and see you somewhere south of the equator. Bye-bye. So it's our crossing the equator ceremony today. We're chilling a bit, we do it before the equator because we're still in the doldrum corridor, so it's pretty chill. Um, and it's Josh who uh, organized everything, so it's safe to say I'm a little bit worried. And also, I've never crossed the equator, so I'm into the ceremony as well. Yeah, that's it. Bring the chair! Hollywood to Shellback. A Shellback is someone who has crossed the equator and someone who hasn't is a Pollywog. No one is really sure when or how the Lion Crossing Ceremony Order of Neptune came about. The ritual dates back at least 400 years in Western seafaring. This ceremony observes a sailor's transformation from slimy Pollywog, you my crew, to a trusty Shellback, also called a son or daughter of Neptune. As the world's navies began to develop, so did the tradition. When a ship crosses the equator, also known as crossing the line, King Neptune comes aboard to exercise authority over his domain and to judge charges brought against Pollywogs, that they are only posing as sailors and haven't paid proper homage to the god of the sea. So without further ado, let the ceremony begin. Right, we just arrived at the end of the Dogen Corridor. So this allowance of uh, motoring we have, uh, 6 degrees of latitude, so 360 nautical miles, 60 hours, we're almost uh, there. We still have 5 hours and we resume uh, sailing and, and racing. So yeah, that's a, that's a specificity of this race. Um, I find it pretty cool because I hate light winds and just avoid the painful part and then go, go on with racing. There's still a bit of uh, strategy now we are <coughs> discussing with Josh whether it's better to go a little bit more westerly or easterly. Honestly, I don't think it makes a huge difference. Um, boat is ready to go back into, into racing again. So, so yeah, no, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. But 10 days at sea today. And, uh, and yeah, we're ready ready for the second half of, the, of this passage. We still have 3,000 miles to do. Um, we did 2,500 already. It's gonna be another good two weeks probably. Let's see what the winds are uh, like once we pass the equator. Looking forward to this, a bit more, a bit more racing. We're, we're still like second, third, we're still at the front of the fleet. Uh, hopefully we manage to keep this gap with, uh, with the back of the fleet. Yeah, Punta del Este, here we come. Soon-ish. <laughs> 